China carried out the first flight tests of a new kind of ballistic missile with a hypersonic glide vehicle in November, the diplomat has learned. According to a U.S. government source who described recent intelligence assessments on the People's Liberation Army rocket force on the condition of anonymity, China recently conducted two tests of a new missile known as a DF-17. Parts of the U.S. intelligence community assess that the DF-17 is a medium-range system, with a range capability between 1,800 and 2,500 kilometers. The missile is expected to be capable of delivering both nuclear and conventional payloads and may be capable of being configured to deliver a maneuverable re-entry vehicle instead of an HGV. The missile successfully made impact at a site in Sinjin province, outside Chermor, within meters of the intended target, the source added. The missile is explicitly designed for operational HGV implementation and not as a test bed, the source said, describing U.S. intelligence assessments of the DF-17. This was the first HGV test in the world using a system intended to be fielded operationally, the source added. In addition to China, the United States and Russia are also developing hypersonic glider technology, but neither country is known to have flight tested a system in a configuration intended for operational deployment to date. Hypersonic gliders, by virtue of their low altitude flight, present challenges to existing radar sensor technology enabling missile defenses. In a report detailing new ballistic and cruise missile threats to the U.S. released this year, the U.S. National Air and Space Intelligence Center observed that hypersonic glide vehicles delivered by ballistic missile boosters are an emerging threat that will pose new challenges to missile defense systems.